about uh, robots and how you got involved with robots. Uh, so I got involved with robots through a Mindstars kit and actually the reason why I got that was because I had a track and field injury uh -huh. so the entire summer I'd be doing nothing so uh -huh. I decided to build robots and that's really how I got interested in it. Oh, really? How long ago was that? A very long time ago. Okay, okay. It's quite a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, because I have uh, Lego Mindstorms. I have the first generation of oh, okay. stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I, I don't do much with it anymore. But, yeah, yeah, I had the RCX 2.0. Yeah. It's a pretty cool robot. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was fascinating. So. Yeah. Yeah. So after the Lego Mindstorms, what, what did you do? I uh, got a Manoi HE01. And um, from there, I started to learn about the Arduino microcontroller because uh -huh. I couldn't figure out <laughs> how to use their microcontroller. And um, since then, it's been like uh, learning all of the uh, stuff about electronics, how to make robots that don't use Lego. Uh -huh. um, and then I started creating my own robots. Uh -huh. Yeah, I understand you uh, completely got it, the uh, Manoi. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, turned it into, uh, you know, diff added a different controller. And yeah, it now uses an Arduino with a serial servo controller. There's an XB inside, an accelerometer, and a gyro, and it even has a LED necklace on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's quite a challenge. Did you do that incrementally, or did yeah. you plan everything out? Yeah, it was all done incrementally. So. What Manoi was originally purposed for was actually playing hockey. So it would skate around on these little like Lego skates and um, it would have a hockey stick attached to it and it would just uh, use its servos to move the hockey stick and shoot. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that's cool. <laughs> I really enjoy the, the Manoi. I still have it. Still, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to bring it, but I just have no time to compete. <laughs> yeah. So what got you involved with robotics to begin with? I mean, you, you talk about that you had the summer and you... Yeah. Did, what, did, was, did you have a interest in the technology before that? Or? Well, I was always interested in programming. Like, that's really my main focus, like computer science, making software, that sort of thing. But it was interesting to make these creations in real life so you actually have like something sitting here uh, on the table that can move around and stuff like bringing life to an inanimate object basically uh -huh. that's pretty cool now that's, that seems to be where people uh, have a big disconnect you know they're all on the software side or they're all on the yeah. hardware side and, and getting them together that's one thing I, one of the things I love about uh, Rubble Games is all the people get together and they can cross pollinate and exchange ideas. Yeah, yeah. It's been great to exchange lots of ideas. Yeah. yeah. So you're mainly interested in the uh, software side and uh, software development? Uh, I'm actually interested in both. So it's an area called blended reality okay. where, say, you have a mobile device like an iPad oh. attached to this robot then you can have different features on the iPad that you can't have in real life. Okay. But you can also have the robot illustrate um, whatever is happening on the screen. Uh -huh. So one of the tricky parts about that is trying to make the user focus on either the screen or the robot mm -hmm. and the timing has to be just right for, for it to seem uh, believable uh -huh. and everything. So you think there's a lot of uh, potential? in terms of integrating robotics into human life and yeah. vice versa. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, that was one of the themes of uh, the NOW development uh, group, you know, bringing NOW to life. And they were talking about emulating human behavior. They were talking about integrating, you know, this like the robot domain and the human domain, yeah. and integrating those two and yeah. bringing robots would bring now to human life but bringing humans to robot life uh, yeah you know, I thought that was really really cool so you yeah. have a very similar uh, type of uh, mindset yeah I, I really like uh, thinking about human human robot interaction so in fact with this robot it's one of the most natural forms of human robot interaction you you have these hats in front of the robot and then you can just put it on and then it does different behaviors and everything. <laughs> so.
the kids all go crazy over it. Oh, sure. Because yeah. I can do something and then it does something. Yeah. And then the, you've got that interaction that feeds on each other. Yeah. I guess, uh, what is it, Skylanders? Uh, yeah, the yeah. Dragon game. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was the characters were all developed by uh, Highway. Yeah, yeah, Crab Fu. Yeah, and, and he, you know, I met him here oh, quite a few years ago, yeah. like four years ago. He nice. was uh, exhibiting uh, here. Uh, he's supposed to come down this weekend. So oh, really? Maybe here uh, later. That would be cool to meet him. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a great guy. He lives just north of the city, wow. about an hour or so drive. Nice. So the social part of it is just amazing to me that you've gone that far because most most of the builders they build a robotic device, but it looks very mechanical. It's, right. it's, it's a, a rectilinear coordinate system, and it's metal, and it's cold, and, <laughs> yeah. all, that. and all your stuff is uh, soft and approachable and interfaceable, and it's got character. Also. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, one of the main things I try to focus on, because um, I wanted to be, look like I wanted to look good as a craft, but then it can also come to life, and you can play with it, and it can be like your pet, basically. Sure. That's great. But at the same time, the tech side of it is pretty involved as well, especially with our uh, cloud robotics stuff. Uh -huh. So. Do you find it challenging for most people to, to get beyond the, the tech part of it? Uh, uh, it's half and half. So there's some people who only understand like the, the decoration parts of it, and then there's some people who only understand the tech parts of it. Uh -huh. um, so it's, it's interesting. There are some people who understand both, which is quite exciting when I meet them. Right. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> Framing questions is a little bit difficult sometimes. <laughs> you started the robot party. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, how did that uh, come to into uh, being? Into being? Yeah. Well, it's actually... <laughs> it's a long sort of story, but... Um, a few years ago, I was on this internet TV show called Fat Man and Circuit Girl, and um, I noticed there that they had such like charisma and passion for electronics, and it spread throughout like a community of people. So it got everyone sort of involved. So I always had that in the back of my brain, and later on, I actually started a uStream broadcast of just me building robots and talking about them. It would happen every week. And then uh, Google Plus came out with their Hangouts. Right. And then that just uh, made the robot party what it should be, where everyone can talk about their robots there and explain everything and get feedback from everyone else who's in the Hangout. Yeah. How often do you do that? Now? It's every week, um, Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern or 5 p.m. Pacific. Okay, and yeah. how, how would people find that? Uh, they can find it on um, my website or uh, my Google Plus. Um, just and your lives. then that is oh, and that is the robotgirl.com/robotparty. Okay. Um, it's G R R L. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that in the notes. People okay. that are watching the video they yeah. won't know. Yeah, they won't know unless I. Yeah. You know, you explicitly say that, then they don't know. Yeah. And I'll, I'll edit this. Oh, okay. To cut out. You can just relax and talk really. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I didn't know I was in your video. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, 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 no problem. Uh, yeah, how many people are joining that now? Uh, it's been interesting to see it. Uh, it's always like a very devoted group of uh, viewers. Sure. So there's always that amount, and then we're starting to get some new people as well as more people start learning about it. The word gets out. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. Japanese we call it kuchikomi, it's uh, kuchikomi. word of mouth. Yeah. Cool. People tell people. And, uh, yeah, exactly. You trust people, so you, oh, oh, you find this interesting? Well, I, I want to try that too. Yeah. 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 What are people doing uh, that surprises you or interests oh, you? Oh man, so many people are doing so many cool things. Um, 
We have one person who uh, built their own CNC machine. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's amazing and like you can see it working there sometimes. Like he comes on the robot party and he moves it around and stuff. And actually, um, another person, Albert La, who's actually at the Robo Games this weekend, he sometimes broadcasts um, from his hacker space where he's actually seeing seeing a robot. So one time he actually seen see a sumo robot like right in front of the robot party. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. We got to see a robot being created then. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's really cool. A lot of people are focusing on uh, taking their hobby robots, making them uh, modular enough to be uh, kit forms. Okay. So we have lots of that as well. Uh, that's great. What kind of technologies are people using? Like are they using 3D printing and using, you mentioned building a CNC machine. Yeah, there's lots of 3D printing. Um, laser cutters are pretty popular. Uh, um, making your own PCBs is popular too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I imagine people have to belong to a hackerspace or have access to a hackerspace. A laser yeah. cutter, I'd, I'd love to have a laser cutter, but no way I can afford it. Yeah, so. actually we've had two people who have their own laser cutter yeah. come on the robot party, so yeah, <laughs> pretty lucky people. <laughs> pretty lucky. It's a matter of priority. Like if I have the money, I'm going to buy another camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What is your future vision of uh, robotics? How do you see this evolving over time? So my future vision of robotics is that there's going to be a lot more in the home and it will help you with tasks that um, are redundant enough that you would need a robot and it would be very useful to have one. So um, definitely towards like a certain purpose like um, maybe in addition to your all of your uh, kitchen appliances there will be another appliance like a robot appliance and you'll also have these robot pets that you can interact with and they'll be able to do data logging for you so you can have like a more quantified sense of what's happening in your life. Okay. Yeah, one of my friends in uh, Japan, uh, Nakagawa-san, she runs RT, uh, yeah. the robot shop. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, she's fantastic. Her vision, uh, one of her visions for uh, cloud robotics is uh, a robot that does uh, life logging. So, yeah. Or life logging. So, yeah, but I always wanted to be involved in robots and see what could happen. Yeah. And actually, it's not about robots at all. It's about what happens when people engage with robots. Yeah. When people come here or uh, they watch my videos or whatever, my YouTube channel is about eight to 10,000 views a day. Yeah. There's a smile, there's an energy, there's a connection. And that's what feeds me. Yeah. And if it was PDAs or if it was teddy bears or something, I, I don't care what it is. <laughs> I'm about that. Uh, interaction and that, that reaction of people and the thing about robotics is it inspires people to do something with their life. It's a art or uh, music or, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, so that we saw your, we can't go in so we thought we'd see what you have going here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're gonna, yeah. Okay. Oh cool. Okay. This is all gonna Just be on the sound. <laughs> Robots in action. I, I can turn this.